from U2's and their Five Nights at Freddy's line, this is the Wave 1 Chica re-release with the flocking, which is to say they're a bit fuzzy. Now, I've looked at all the other animatronics from this re-release. I've looked at Freddy, I've looked at Bonnie, I've looked at Foxy. All three of them, amazing. My favorite out of the group probably is the Bonnie still. Chica, just generally speaking, most of the reviews I saw from that Wave 1, Chica seemed to be the one that people liked the least, alongside Bonnie. But then I just told you, Bonnie had a bit of a glow up, so I'm hoping this figure is similar. Looking at the box, you got, of course, Chica in the front, the little flocked logo here. You got side profile, same picture on the back, just Five Nights at Freddy's here. Let's actually look at the box proper. So when you take the protective case away and the dust sleeve, this is what you get. Number 23, Chica vinyl figure with the little flocked logo that tells you the figure itself is flocked. We got the same picture here on the side, and then right over here we have Chica going through the vents. Hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a treat, but keep an eye on your pizza, because I'm a bird who likes to eat. Again, I'm pretty sure that's the lyric from the cut song from the VR game? Is that right? I've heard that song around, though. And then, so sweet. It's a shame it doesn't say too sweet, because then it could have been like a Scott Hall figure. That's a... That's a reference I almost guarantee no one who watches this video will get. But okay, let's actually open up Chica. Getting Chica out of the box, I like this a lot. Uh, I think the pose and the colors are both really, really good. So part of the U2 style is that you have these kind of anime happy eyes. But even with that, like you have the bottom row of teeth, the bill looks fine. You got, his name is Cupcake. I always want to call him Frank. He's just Cupcake. The Cupcake looks good. You got the Let's Eat Bib. Oh, this is cool. So the Let's Eat Bib is just plastic, but then the body itself is all felt. Oh, there is also a little bit of a defect. If you look there at the shoulder, it doesn't go all the way around. They might not have been able to, though, just because of how the head is angled. But then you look on this side, and the bib does go all the way around. Okay, the bib's a little bit weird. But I do like the fact that the beak and the feet and the bib are all still just the normal plastic, and it's only the actual parts of the costume that you would think would be felt are felt. I keep saying felt, flocked. Yeah, this Chica looks great. I love especially just the energy from it. They look very happy, you gotta say that much. Overall, yeah. I think that when they flocked these figures, they really did bring a new energy to them. When I saw reviews of these guys literally anywhere, Bonnie and Chica were the two that people disliked the most, and yet now that I have all four of them in hand in this flocked version, I like them the most. I would put Freddy on the bottom, then Foxy, then Chica, and then Bonnie as my favorite. But this is a great lineup of the original four. I think that it speaks to U2's style and ability as toy makers that they might be the best looking lineup of the four animatronics that we've ever had in figure form before. And here we have the original lineup through U2s in their flocked uh, variations. Yeah, like I said before, these are the best quartet of the original figures I've ever seen. Like, the Funko figures were good, and you could get pops, and uh, <clears throat> you could get various things like that. You could get the snaps. But this, this is perfect. I love how these four look together. And it makes me really excited to get more figures from U2s. Like I said, I think they're probably the best toy makers for Five Nights right now. So, with all that said, I give all four of these a glowing recommend, with my personal favorite again, being the Bonnie.